Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Veronica, and this is my little 8 month old, his name is Hunter, he is going to be my little sidekick today, and we are going to be showing you what is in our diaper bag, 8 month old edition, and he wanted to be a part of it, huh? You're going to show them what's in your diaper bag? Mm. Yeah? Are you going to show them? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. He's ready. All right, guys. Before we get started on this video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do try to post twice a week, one for all my lovely moms out there, and then a video for all my beauty lovers. So everything makeup, beauty, skincare, fashion related. Yeah. Yeah, we do everything here, huh? Uh, so yeah, just make sure you go ahead and subscribe, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below as far as what you would like to see next, and let's get on to the video. Alright guys, so we are going to take a look at what I go ahead and pack for my little one when we do go out and about. Um, this is normally what I pack on a daily basis when I go and I run errands, um, if we take like a little trip like to Disneyland or just anywhere else, it's gonna be a lot longer than just maybe the running errands for the day. I do pack a little bit more, but this is just my basic every day running errands um, essentials. I do wanna go ahead and show you my diaper bag. This is the <coughs> Ryla diaper bag. So it is a backpack. Um, it's, I don't wanna say it's big, but it's definitely not small. It definitely has a lot of room inside. Um, but it also keeps me from overpacking so it's not overly huge. Um, these straps are very, very comfortable and they are adjustable. And it's got a lot of pockets and like I said, very spacious inside so I am able to fully pack this if I really wanted to. I believe the diaper bag is $139. It is a little pricey but I do highly recommend this diaper bag. I absolutely love it. It's, like I said, it's stylish. It's compact still got a lot of room so perfect but let's go ahead and get on to the compartments actually right out here I go ahead and have these little diaper bags so when I'm out in public if he does have a stinky poopy diaper yes you do have stinky poopy diapers here you go so if he has like a really stinky diaper I can just go ahead and wrap it up in the bag and I throw it away without it being so smelly because he's got some really bad ones. He always, actually no, ever since he really started to eat solids, it's been bad. Stinky, huh? Stinky. Um, Alright, so we've got this back zipper right here. And this is where I put my changing pad. This actually came with the diaper bag, and I actually really like it. So it just folds out like this. Fold it back up, and then just goes right back into the back compartment. Now for the side pockets, it's got two bottle pockets right here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll pack a water bottle for myself in this pocket, and the other pocket is where my phone will go. This front pocket right here. It was actually advertised because they have little inserts as what as kind of like a um, suggestion what to put in the pockets. It was actually a mom pocket, but I actually use it for his toys and um, other things like that. So I actually have quite a few toys in here. Like I said, it's got a lot of room. We've got four toys. Three of them are his teethers and then this little crinkly toy which he got from his Love Every subscription box. Um, so if you haven't seen any of my reviews on those, I'll go ahead and link those videos down below. I highly do recommend that play kit. It really takes the guesswork out of toys for your little ones. And these are just some of his favorite um, teethers. So I pack those. You want these, Papa? Next up in here, I have a little hand sanitizer. Got lotion, and because he is on solids and we don't know what he is or is not allergic to, I do carry around 
the children's Benadryl and I do know his current dosing for him. Um, his pediatrician did give me that. So just as a precaution, I do carry this around with me because you never know what can happen. You never know what your little one might be allergic to. So it's always good to just, you know, better safe than sorry. Right? Right? Yes. All right. Now into the big compartment. This is it right here. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff and definitely still a lot of room left to go ahead and add more if I choose to. So. We're going to start off with these two pockets here. Here's where I go ahead and I carry his snacks. He loves these little teether snacks here. So I carry two of those. And I do breastfeed and normally I'll go ahead and take along an extra bottle of breast milk with me wherever we go just in case like I'm in the grocery store and I'm shopping and trying to check out and he's hungry. I can go ahead and give that to him. So there's always a bottle in here, but I do carry formula. I am all for feeding your baby however your baby needs to be fed, whether it's formula fed or breastfed. All that matters is that your baby is fed appropriately. So I do carry these just in case you never know what can happen. You may have already used up that bottle. You're not able to breastfeed wherever you're at or whatever you're doing. So I always also keep a bottle of um, water for him so I can go ahead and mix this. This is for a four ounce bottle. Obviously he drinks a little bit more than that um, now that he's eight months old but this is just like I said as an extra backup. And this ah, and this other pocket right here I have a burp cloth and an extra bib. I go through bibs like crazy with him. He's teething so he is drooling a lot. Um, so he does go through bibs quite quickly. Okay, right in here, this is my little bag. And it really just depends on if I'm wearing makeup or not, what goes in here. Um, if I am wearing makeup, and generally I'll have my eyelash glue and a pair of tweezers just to go ahead and fix my eyelashes if for any reason they start to come off. I do not want to be that girl with the lash falling off. I have chapstick with me. I have my blotterazzi, so it has a mirror on it, and then if I get oily, I can just go ahead and blot my nose. I have hair tie in here, and then, because my diary period, when you turned, I think he was about five months, so I was not one of those lucky ones who got to go on for like a year or more without her period. Um, and then I also just have this little wall attachment for my phone to charge if I'm at somebody else's house. So this is my bag. Then, like I said, since I am breastfeeding, I do carry around my nursing cover because I cannot just whip out my boob. If you can, props to you. Feed your child however way you want to feed your child. I am just a little embarrassed, so I cover myself, but... I give credit to the moms who can just whip it out. And then next up here we have, this is a wet bag. This as well came with the diaper bag. And I just carry an extra pair of clothes in here for him. And then of course if he stains or dirties this one, it would go into the wet bag so it doesn't mess anything else up in his diaper bag. I also carry around in this little pocket, let me see if I can show you guys the pocket, this one right here to the side. I carry a draft and this thing is an absolute lifesaver and this thing works freaking miracles. He is not so bad anymore when it comes to like blowouts but literally almost every day, maybe even twice or three times a day when he was smaller, he would have crazy blowouts so there was always staining and this literally takes everything out. Now so, it's more for like if he stains his food, his clothes with food, and then we go ahead and spray it and it definitely gets it off. So if you do not have this, you definitely should get this. It's amazing. Right here, this is a little Pampers bag. This came in one of those um, registry gift bags that you get when you go like sign up at Target. I think it was Target. But 
I actually use it for his diapers and on average I'll carry four if not five diapers in here because you never know what can happen. Better to be safe than sorry. His little wipes case in here and then of course some desitin as well. And this just kind of really helps me keep everything organized so things are not just loose in his diaper bag. And then right here is where I would go ahead and put in the bottle with the breast milk and then the bottle with um, water to mix with his formula if I need to. Only thing is I wish this was a little thinner. This is very, very thick so I feel like sometimes it takes up space in the diaper bag. Um, I think if it was thinner it would be just so much more spacious but as you can see everything has fit nicely it can fit even more stuff and then it's got this back zipper back here as well you can see the decal here with uh, Ryla on there this is where I go ahead and I keep my little wallet and I am now since he is starting to eat a lot more table food versus like purees or anything like that I carry a little silicone placemat there. That way I can just go ahead and set this on the table, put all his food on there, don't feel like he's picking up any germs from the table there. I know they clean it, I wipe it down myself as well anyways, but it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable that this is going to be an extra protective layer between um, the table and his food. Right, Papa? So yeah, that is everything that I carry in my diaper bag for my little one who is eight months right now. I cannot believe how quickly time has gone by. I swear I just brought him home yesterday, but I am just so happy to see him grow and learn all these new things every day. Huh, Papa? Um, definitely go ahead and check out Ryla. They have some really cute diaper bags. They have it in black, brown, and they also have little organizer pouches, which I really want to get my hands on, but I just haven't done it yet. But definitely go ahead and check them out. I will leave their link in the description down below. Yeah, you like your diaper bag too, huh? Yeah. Tell them. It's a really nice diaper bag and it carries all your stuff perfectly. Yeah. I don't think you'll regret it. It's really great quality. It's easy to clean, spacious, not overly um, big, but you will definitely be able to carry everything that you need in there. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave today. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below as far as what you would like to see next on my channel. And if you would like to see any videos, including eight, hey, including this little one here. So I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.